Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, House Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have this second Aaron cask finish bottle here on my cask. It's a port cask finish. It's 50% ABV, quite high. It's quite reasonably priced. It's 40 euros, dollars, pounds. It's unchill filtered, uncolored, and look at that wonderful color. So this is whiskey as it should be. Unfortunately, there's no age statement on it. And uh, I would suggest for all the producers, put an age statement on it, even if it's eight years of age. In former times, uh, a lot of whiskies showed an age statement of eight years. So today, you have to be double digit, 10 years at least. Yeah, so this is the second one of the cask finish series, the Amarone, Sautern, Marsala, and this part cask. The part cask is quite long on the market, eight years probably, and uh, in former times it had been extremely strong and full, so that there had been some complaints about the intensity of that whiskey. Well, add a little bit of still water, that's just just what you have to do uh, to bring it down to to a more uh, compatible uh, yeah, intensity in your mouth. Uh, here on the tube they say uh, luscious flavors of hazelnut, strawberry jam and mandarin oranges display the perfect balance of flavor between the pot cask and the Aran malt. So here we have the distillery character of the Aran malt combined uh, with a cask, the port wine cask. There have been other casks on the market, uh, not only the four I mentioned, Sautern, Amarone, Masala and this port. There have been others as well, <clears throat> but in the last years those four seem to be now the standard supply of casks. Uh, <clears throat> well, the sherry ones uh, typically grew very, very expensive. So the others from uh, Sicily, southern Italy, uh, or from France, uh, they are cheaper now. And Aran is still a young whiskey distillery, has to look after the money. So no problem having these special casks. A lot of vanilla first. And toffee caramel, sweetness, and after that immediately spiciness. There's no alcohol in the nose. So the intensity of the casks is so strong that you can't smell the alcohol. And then in the back, the citrus notes come up, but a little sweeter. So these mandarin oranges, as they said, <clears throat> and probably a little bit of nuttiness and this is quite typical for sherry or port wine casks. There are some hazelnuts in it. Not really hazelnut, but the smell of hazelnuts. Yeah, so I try it neat uh, because I do not feel the, the sharpness of the alcohol in the nose and probably I have to add water afterwards. <laughs> Immediately strong on my tongue and the alcohol is pressing the aromas in, but there's no alcohol on my tongue. Just the aroma and those mandarins, tangerine, sweetness, little orange note. Wonderful. And combined with that is uh, spiciness. Unfortunately, I've read about uh, cinnamon. No, I don't find that. But there's baked apple, Christmas cake. Yeah. Some darker plums, sultanas, raisins. Yeah, all the full mature port wine aromas. And this one, is, I've seen my video, I looked at my video eight years ago about that one and it was, well, not harmonic, intense, 
hammering. And this one is really pleasant, a well-rounded, ah, very good one. Yeah. That's it for today. There's more to come. There's Sotern and Amarona still missing here. Uh, hopefully next week or the week after I will look at those two. And uh, these Aran cask finishes sell really well. So people like the Aran malt, especially in the finishings and the price is really reasonable. So you get everything. That's it for today. Stay tuned, there's more to come as always.